I, I don't really know where I want to start this video. Um, I uh, I get a lot of comments saying that people enjoy the fact that I do serious content as opposed to stupid and random content. And for me, it's a good mix and it shows reality. Because not everything is roses all the time, 100%. We have our struggles, and a lot of that isn't shown by a lot of people on YouTube. Um, and I want to be honest. I am really struggling with depression, gender dysphoria, anxiety putting myself down um, my my mind is just a head fuck and it's it's tough but as opposed to me just sitting here and just letting it happen and me feeling like I don't amount to anything I thought I'd talk about it and try and help maybe you understand how I feel and try and help myself work out how I feel. Um, before transition, I never suffered from depression or anxiety. Um, I think the first ever time that I really felt depressed, seriously depressed, was when my mum got diagnosed with cancer in 2009. And I, uh, I had to look after her and she passed away a couple of months later. And it was then that I became an adult. It was then that I uh, grew up. And um, it was around that time that I decided I was going to be a better person and do something with my life. Uh, and I ended up flying to America on my own um, in 2011, um, which was amazing and was so empowering for someone who would sit in their room all day. Um, and it was around that period that I was struggling with my gender dysphoria and struggling with what I had inside me, which I didn't understand. And um, I came out in 2011, as you may or may not know. So I think that starting hormones and transitioning has been damaging on my brain it's a stressful thing you don't just transition immediately it's not something that you just do unlike Caitlyn Jenner who had the best experience in the world and that's what pisses me off about her that image that she was able to just become Kate was kind of like a kick to every transgendered person in the entire universe. Um, it's not that easy. I, uh, I am, um, I, 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 I have these. They're Ven, Venlaxic, um, seventy-five milligrams, and they're antidepressants. And I, I hate myself. For being on them. You think that my own brain. I'd be able to. Help myself. And I can't. And that scares me. I don't want to make this video. To depress anyone. I want to make this to. 
maybe give some insight. Because the more you understand about the situation that I'm and so many other people are in, the more the more that I can help. Then that's important to me. Um, I, I get angry a lot, I, uh, I, I have, uh, I will be happy one minute, yesterday I was happy, I felt great, I was going to go see my brother to get some PS4 games off of him, and, um, I came back, and my dad had come in my room and turned my fan off, and I blew up, I just exploded. It's not right. It's not right at all. And that's hard. Because I, I feel like I'm hurting those around me. And that's a bad place to be in. I don't want you to see me crying <laughs> because I don't know why I just don't <sighs> if you're suffering from depression you need to get help you need to see someone if you're struggling with your transition you need to talk to someone have that person that you can talk to because that's the most important thing you can do. Um, and that's <laughs> harder said than done, I suppose. Or harder done than said, you know. It's uh, it's not always easy to have the support there. Uh, thankfully, my doctor has been fantastic, but the general clinic is not. And uh, if I could go private, I would. Um... But I, I just haven't got the money to be able to do something like that. I mean, it, it's just... The gender clinic is, is so just screwed here. And uh, I don't feel like they give a shit, to be completely honest. And I don't care if anyone there is watching this, because I've struggled for the last three years with them. I haven't been there in over a year when I was supposed to be seeing them every six months, even if six months was uh, classed as <laughs> enough appointments in a year. I mean, two months, two appointments in a, in a year is ridiculous. The government needs to pull the finger out of their asses and take a look at the subject and the, the, the issue that is surrounding our community. Because people are dying, people are committing suicide. And that's wrong. If I could be some kind of spokesperson, I'd say, hey, fix it. Be happy in yourself. Be yourself. If you feel like you need to transition, transition. And don't give a shit what anyone else thinks. Because that's more stressful than anything else. And it doesn't matter how many pills you take. You, If you feel like you're trans, then you are. Um, in depression... Um, there's something that we can work together to defeat and maybe get some insight on it because it's it's a bad thing and a lot of people put depression down as something that you can't see and I think that that's wrong um, because depression is something that is prevalent in a lot of people even people that aren't transitioning it's a big thing and so many things kind of meld into that with depression and anxiety and 
anger issues and I was never an angry person. I was never an angry person and I hate myself for being that. But I think that's the hormones, <laughs> just the influx, you know. I got I get very hormonal. I ended up crying over a video game character yesterday because he was cute. <laughs> that's just my I'm in my brain, my brain chemicals are all fucked up. Um and that's something I have to work on myself. Um, I got thanked for making a video a couple of days ago about... I can't even remember what it was about now. Self-consciousness, I think. And you don't need to thank me. I, I, I feel like... I'm saying what people won't, and that's hard. People don't say what they need to say. And if I can be some kind of platform for the voices that don't want to speak, then that's my goal. And I get asked a lot what my goal is on YouTube, and my goal is on YouTube to help support be a voice I suppose for people who maybe don't have a big enough voice to say it themselves and if I can be that then great I'm sorry if this video was in any way depressing I think the main thing you need to learn through this is you need to get someone you need to get help you need to see your GP or your doctor um, see someone who cares about you and just talk to them sit down over a cup of tea or a cigarette no matter what it doesn't matter something that calms you down and just talk to them because that's that's a that's an important step towards being better I'm going to get out of here um Just don't, just don't take this video the wrong way. I'm fine. I'm getting there. And, um, thank you. Thank you, all of you. You are the, the, that, that, that's, that thing that's holding me together. Thanks for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.